Greetings from Ashoka University. Ashoka began as a liberal arts university, in itself unique in the Indian higher education system. It then grew into a liberal arts and sciences university. And today, it is a liberal arts and sciences research university. Research is of prime focus for us. Research is so important, not only for the creation of knowledge, but also because teaching is enriched by research and we want to have great research happening at Ashoka and to produce also the next generation of researchers. We are very keen to have great research happening in this university. Ashoka is a research university where research and undergraduate teaching is totally integrated. What it means by integration is Ashoka's faculty not only do research, they involve undergraduate students in their research and there is teaching pedagogy is also a research-based pedagogy when you teach in the classroom. And in this ambience, PhD students of Ashoka play a major role. They are the ones who bridge between the undergraduate students and the research faculty. And by default, almost all research that is being done in Ashoka are interdisciplinary or multidisciplinary. For example, recently we have initiated a new program, Interdisciplinary Research in Archaeology, wherein classical archaeologists as well as modern day scientists work together to address the, some of the questions that are related to archaeology. The Ashoka PhD program offers aspiring researchers a unique combination of opportunities. A stimulating intellectual environment that encourages new ideas and interdisciplinary approaches, dedicated world-class faculty to guide research, strong institutional support, and a program that gives PhD students opportunities to develop their teaching skills. My experience with the faculties at Ashoka has been extremely enriching, both intellectually and personally. Their investment in and encouragement of my project has allowed me to find new dimensions to it. Here I got to see them not only as brilliant scholars, but also as wonderful teachers. The diversity of courses that I was able to be a part of has not only added to my knowledge domain, but has also shown me how to sit with differences and build a scholarly community. Hi, I'm Shwam Jagravati, pursuing PhD in Biology at Ashoka University. Currently, I'm interested in force sensitive proteins and uh, this force sensitive process or force dependent process are so complex so that it cannot be uh, observed by the uh, available biophysical technique. So what happens when you run or stretch ourselves, the muscle protein inside our body start working under force. And to observe these processes, we have developed a new technique called uh, magnetic tweezer. This is a very first of its kind in India. These processes are very insightful to observe different kind of biological processes such as wound healing, cancer metastasis and different kind of immunological responses. We, the students of history, do realize how important archival material is for our research. And today, I'm going to talk to you about Ashoka Archives for Contemporary India, which is a key resource center for the study of archival material. The Ashoka Archives of Contemporary India was established in the year 2017 with a view to collect and preserve archival material and documents, both private and institutional papers, for the study of contemporary Indian history. So far, Ashoka Archives for Contemporary India has over 50 collections, including the private and the institutional papers of a former President of India, Dr. S. Radhakrishnan, and a former Prime Minister, Dr. Manmohan Singh. The Ashoka Archives for Contemporary India will also host within itself a repair centre for brittle archival material which will be fixed using the rare and the most available preservation techniques. Hi, I am Srijan, a third year graduate student in the Evolutionary Immunology Lab here at Ashoka University. I have been awarded the R.C. Leontine's Early Career Research Grant from the Society of Evolution, one of the apex evolution biology societies in the world. 
encouraging faculties here at our department and the stimulating discussions which I had with my peers as well as my PI helped me to propose the thesis in a manner that actually helped me in attaining that grant.